let's talk about Kyrie's leaving and who's pro, who's con. What, what he, do you guys think about that? If he's gonna leave, maybe mm -hmm. he might stay. I don't know. I think that's all up to the reports and stuff like that. So would yeah. you want him to stay or would you want him to leave? I think at this point, I'd, uh, I'm pro Kyrie, but I, it's because I'm against LeBron. So I think <laughs> I'd want him to leave. He, he's too, elaborate on that. He's 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 he knows it himself. He's too. Um, how do you, how would you say this? He's too involved in the James era. It's James's team. And he, he kind of wants to get out of that and have his own way. Because he had the Cavaliers. Cavaliers was on his back from when he was, like, first drafted all the way up to, like, when he was 22 years old. And although he was too young, he didn't know it then. And then when LeBron came, he kind of went under him. And then now he kind of wants it back to back when he was 21 and he wants it, that on another team be the main focal point. Yeah, because well, LeBron, that was when LeBron left for Miami, Kyrie was the first draft pick after LeBron yeah. left. So that was like basically giving him the keys to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Mm -hmm. yeah. He was basically the man of the team. And now LeBron and James came back out of nowhere. And, you know, I mean, it's, he's, too, he's happy that he won a ring with them. But he, what people are saying, reports are coming out that he wants to be the man not be, being behind the shadow of LeBron James. But, I mean, who wouldn't want to play with LeBron James and win a ring again? And go to the finals actually every single year because mm -hmm. that's what he's been doing. With so are you, are you for the trade or under the trade? Are you for well, him leaving or would you... He's not technically leaving. It's more his... Are you for him requesting to trade? trade yeah. Yeah. Are you for him requesting yeah, to trade? I, or yeah, you I am, I am yeah. uh, for uh, him requesting a trade just because I feel like LeBron is going to leave anyways from Cleveland. Whatever team he goes to, I don't know. But, I mean, why not? Uh, unless, unless... Yeah, I, I do believe LeBron is going to leave. So why not leave now before anything else happens? Because whatever... I, I believe in that once once LeBron leaves Cleveland, Cleveland's not going to be a great team. It's going to like probably drop down to not even make it to a playoff spot. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, to probably like counter your points, it's just like like you said, LeBron's the greatest like player right now on the court. Like, isn't it kind of selfish for you to, like request a trade when you're alongside the best mm -hmm. player in the world? And like I get your point, like this James team, mm -hmm. but like you know when you talk about Batman and Robin, but like I don't really see Kyrie as a Robin because he's yeah. mm -hmm. he's he's you know 20, 20 plus points a game. And he feels like he's yeah, but he's like up there, arguably the best point guard in the East, right? And pretty much he made that game winning shot that yeah, uh, give them the, the, that ring, right? Exactly. So like to say that he's not the focal point, that's I think he is. Still part of the focal point. I know James carrying the load, but like it's still a blessing to be playing with alongside like the king, right? So mm -hmm. just like to play devil's advocate, like it's really like confusing. weren't you guys were you guys blindsided by the reports that he Oh yeah, because yeah. The day after we recorded our episode, uh, last week's episode, we were just talking about the Cavs <coughs> offseason. It was like a quiet off season, what's going on? Um, is LeBron gonna leave from Cleveland? And then the next day <coughs> in the afternoon someone um, someone from ESPN reports that Kyrie requested a trade. Yeah. He either requested a trade just last week or, or like somewhere around this time or before the draft. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he still requested a trade and he's, he was in China promoting with Nike and hasn't been in contact with Cleveland Cavaliers since then. Even yeah. returning to uh, America, he hasn't been in contact with Cleveland yeah. since mm -hmm. then. It was leaked in a sense. Um, but how, it, I'm actually not blind, uh, I wasn't surprised by it just because the way you, you really look at how the Cleveland Cavaliers has been the past few years, Remember, when he, um, if you think about who Kyrie is, his biggest mentor is Kobe. Mm. So you got to think about him as how you would think Kobe would uh, handle situations like these, right? And Kobe has that kind of alpha mentality that you guys have mentioned. Mm -hmm. So I don't agree with uh, what you're saying in the fact that he's leaving Cleveland Cavaliers because of the fact that he doesn't really want to play with LeBron. It's more of, of the fact that he also looks at it in terms of how it's built. If you look at how the Cavaliers are built, it's built around LeBron. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he knows that if LeBron, yeah, he, 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 if, if you think about it, he should stay. Because LeBron's, if LeBron lives in a year, he gets a whole team yeah. to himself. That's yeah. what everyone that's thinks that's, he is. That's how, that, if, yeah, if you sp speak to the Kobe uh, argument, then yeah, he exactly. should stay. He should so stay. he should stay. It makes perfect sense. But he's also looking at it in another way that if LeBron leaves, this team was built around LeBron. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, LeBron. This built was this team was built around LeBron because if you look at all the players, these are spot up shooter players. That these are players that are role players that that plays well when LeBron is playing because LeBron facilitates. But Kyrie doesn't play that. But these guys are slow. These guys are old. 
Kyrie is, if you watch Kyrie's game, he plays fast pace. He's, you know, he's all about speed. Mm -hmm. So if the, LeBron does leave, that leaves Kyrie with players that he doesn't play well against. I, I just and he's going to struggle. I just don't think Kyrie doesn't, he doesn't just want any part of that anymore. He, he doesn't he want to have to go in on an off season and say, is LeBron leaving? Is, yeah. mm. He doesn't want to have all these variables because it's James's team. He just wants his own team. And then he after the New York when Knicks. LeBron leaves, it's like that yeah. all that build up to now, yeah. let's is rebuild this to a championship sheet exactly. team yeah. once again. Um, well, what do you guys th do? You guys think because Kyrie's been requesting a trade to New York, Minnesota, uh, San Antonio, and I, there's one more team, Miami. Miami. Do, you, do you guys think that's that's probably a, a one of the landing spots that you might go to? I heard, even heard Phoenix. Phoenix was Phoenix. a Phoenix. Yeah, yeah recent report. Well, recent report. It all was depends Josh on the trade. The, the trade. Yeah, the trade yeah. offers that Cavs are going to get from it. Right? Well, like I feel like. Spurs would be a nice fit. Like the Tony Parker is not gonna get any younger. Mm -hmm. Like it's a nice fit. But even then, like you're still kind of in the shadows of Kawhi. He's like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but like maybe I, I heard a report today actually that he really badly wants to go to New, New York. York. And I'm just yeah. I'm actually a pro New York guy yeah. just because the fact that yeah. he he's gonna play alongside Porzingis mm. and he's gonna get what he wants in terms of being the main man. Ball yeah. control. But he's gonna have the type of players that complements him. Yeah. If you think about it, Porzingis is a better fit to him than Tristan Thompson or Kevin Love. Yeah. I, I, he's a shooter well, but can defend multiple positions. Do you don't think, think about Kyrie, New York? It's gonna be it's yeah. gonna be a process. Yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. think Kyrie uh, to New York is like a playoff team already or like it's still like you no. said a process? No, but it's thing, be I don't process. think that's what he wants right now. He wants to be yeah. a, he's, he won a championship. He's proven already that and he took the biggest shot. So he's proven himself already as a champion. He just wants to have, I think, build his own legacy. Yeah, he's, he's not already, in the shadow of LeBron. What, during, if you listen closely during the playoffs, you can read in between the lines the way Kyrie speaks about uh, when they lose, about uh, if, if this was his offense or if, you know, once it comes time for him to have the keys to the offense, he'll run it differently. Exactly. So that's why I wasn't really surprised when he came out and uh, said. That's what I feel too. Yeah.